All right, as you guys know, Shane from Stuff Made Here recently made a video about uh, having a robot that solves puzzles. So I'm, in this video, I'm going to go into the details of how to find a contour of a puzzle piece. So here I drew a puzzle piece here that looks similar to the one that he was using. But in general, we could use any puzzle piece, but we'll just use this one to demonstrate our code. Okay, so first off is I'm going to write this in Python. So let's import CV2, and then we also want to import our map plotlib and our pyplot to do some plotting later on. So first off is I want to upload my image using the CV2 and then I'm going to use the umread and my file name was called single puzzle.png and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it into three color channels uh, blue, green, and red using the split function, pass in my puzzle image here, and then I'm gonna extract the contour using the function cv2.findContours. And inside there, I'm gonna pass in the image with the green channel. I'm gonna set the mode equal to cv2. Dot, um, the tree here. And what the tree does is it'll retrieve all the contours. And then the second one that I want to set up is going to be the method. So for the method, I need to specify, I'm going to use cv2 dot chain approx none. So the chain approx none is it'll store all the contour points. Okay. And then next, what you want to do is do cv2 dot draw contours and then this will draw out the contour that it just extracted and I'm going to pass in image dot puzzle image in here and then with my contours I'm going to pass in contour and the contour idx I'm going to put negative one to say that if it's negative then all the contours are drawn and the color channel is going to be in blue, green, and red. So I'm going to make it red. So it's 0, 0, 2, 55. And just to make the line a little bit thicker, I'm going to set a thickness equal to 2. So that will set up the drawing. And then cv2 dot um, show contour and pass in the puzzle image again. And cv2 dot weight key. And here I'm going to put a zero. Put a debug point here so we could look at the data that we're working with. So if I start debugging, you can see the image loading. So here is the image, and the red is the contour. So if we want to actually look at the points that we're working with, you can see here in the debug console. So debug console, you need to first close the image here. So if I close out the image, you can see that the contour pops up. So you can see the contour is actually a tuple. Uh, it's in parentheses, and to access the tuple, you can see zero here. So these are all the points that's inside. And to actually access the point, you would you can see if I get the first zero, that's the first array. Then if I do zero again, that's going to be the array inside the array. And then to get the first point, I could do zero. To get the second point, I could get one. So later on, we'll use this knowledge to actually get all the x, y coordinates to plot it out. And the reason you might do that is because you can see right here, this contour is pretty long. It has, um, you know, if we do length of contour, all the points, we have 2,017 points. So maybe you want to downsample the points. We have a sparser set maybe to make your program run faster. So here we're going to show you how to plot out the points. So I'm going to have endpoints equals to the length of the contour as we just did right now. 
And then I'm going to initialize my X and Y list to be an empty list. Then I'm going to loop in all the points. And then I'm going to append um, what I just did there. So zero, and then the I will be the which set of points we're working with. The next zero is going to be um, getting inside that array, and then this will this last zero is going to be the x coordinate, and then I have the y here as well, and then you know, update the index to show the y. Then here I'm going to downsample, so downsample every ten points. So do the same thing for the x and y. And then I'm going to use the plot function, plot the x and y, and then use some red circles. OK, so if I run this again, cancel my previous debug session. And this time, I'll just run it. So you can see this was a plot from earlier. And if I close this, I will see the next plot that's in my other window. I'm going to drag it over. And you can see this is a set of points that's spaced out. And yeah, that's how you find a contour of your puzzle piece. So if you want to learn more about how to code uh, cool programs, come check out my Python playlist. See you in the next one.